Oi. Come on now, boy. You idiot. Oh, Arthur, it's you. Come in. Where's what's-his-name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me. And it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you. Maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur. I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much. But... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh. <laughs> I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur.
Why you wanna go and say those awful things about me, buddy? <laughs> Best not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is gonna hurt, but it's for the best. Rather, bring him around the back. Oh, Jean Marc, Jean Marc, uh, I've missed you. Uh, I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord, our friend was there to find you. Really? I don't remember so well. No, oh, Jean-Marc. Here. <coughs> my brother, my brother. Jean-Marc. Oh, we've been so... I promise to change. I know. Ah, uh, what a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We, we will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. 
<laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, how I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? No. I thought I might. But uh, all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth you out of me, it. buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lemieux's a foul rat, but I'm a man of my word. Let me live, and I'll... I'll, I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on, please. Please, come on. You want to show us a sad little man, would you? Uh, the mayor's orders is the mayor's orders, see? You should have stayed in line. be a brute, but I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here. Don't mention me, boy. I give you my word. Adieu, monsieur. Please. You've made your decision. Good man! I will do God's work! 